In winter, newts are fairly drab, but in springtime, now, it's a completely different story. They're magnificent in their full breeding colours, and that one is the most magnificent of them all, the great crested or warty newt. This is the UK's rarest newt and our most strictly protected amphibian. For the last 50 years, their numbers have crashed because of habitat loss, but not here. This is a haven for newts on a massive scale. Great crested newts need a whole network of ponds, fairly close together so they can meet up to breed, with lovely, clean, unpolluted water. But they also need open spaces and a bit of scrub so they can come out in winter and hibernate. And this place has got it all. This is perfect great crested newt territory, and in fact, this has the highest population of great crested newts in the whole of Europe. The Hampton Nature Reserve in Peterborough started life as an industrial site for brick production. The pits left behind filled up with water and hundreds of ponds were created. In the 1990s, the natural population was boosted by rescued great crested newts, generating a super colony of 30,000. The Great Crested is the UK's largest newt and can live up to 13 years. The male is very handsome, with speckled white spots on a black, warty skin. He's got a striking underbelly, which is a warning to predators that he'll taste bad. In spring, he grows an impressive jagged crest along his back and tail. The female has an orange stripe along her tail, contrasting rather nicely with his silver one. There's another species of newt here, a smooth or common newt, and that's the one you're most likely to see in your garden pond. These newts are sometimes active during the day, and I was hoping to get a good look at them with some specialist camera kit, but it turned out I didn't need it. We've actually got a newt, a smooth newt, displaying, a male displaying to a female right in front of it. It's just down there, it's down there. The male's behind, and the female's in front. He wants to get a bit ahead of her and start flicking its tail and wafting its crest at her. Oh, here we go, here we go. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, my God. And, as ever, she's totally disinterested. <laughs> that has to be a television first. Wild, smooth newts displaying to one another. We've practically got them mating. Now, I really want to find the much rarer Great Crested Newt. Because their numbers are in free fall across the UK, the population here is closely monitored by the charity Frog Life. Please Every five years, they conduct a big okay, newt so count. To and tonight, I'm joining Paul Fernborough and his team of dedicated volunteers. Why are we doing the survey at night? So, great crested newts are a mostly nocturnal species and the best way to spot them is by uh, taking a torchlight and just shining it through the water. I saw a bit of movement there, but I think it's, I think it's bugs, yeah. It's just, it's just, just, it's just funny. false you, alarm. <laughs> everything looks sort of newt-shaped, doesn't it? Yeah. In the weed there. Yeah, there's lots of great crested reeds and there's oh, one. there's one, there's one, there's one. What's that's, that? That's a male great crested newt. <sighs> there we go. Oh, look at that. You, you can see the shape of it a bit, bit, bit better now. They really are like underwater dinosaurs, aren't they? Absolutely, yeah. Sort of stegosaurs, little stegosaurs. Only much more brightly coloured, I imagine. How much longer will you and the volunteers stay out tonight? So we'll be out another three hours or so if the weather holds. Three hours tonight? Three more hours. Naively, I thought that this survey would go on for one night and that'd be it. But in fact, it turns out these volunteers and Paul will be out for 34 nights consecutive or uh, depends no, on the conditions? It's weather dependent. Weather dependent. But 34 nights to cover all 400 ponds here. I think frog life volunteers respect. 